China's occupation of Aksai Chin in Ladakh is more than 40 years old, which is why Google Earth's satellite images of an Aksai Chin scale model in another part of China raises many questions. Experts say the model duplicates Aksai Chin's steep mountains and deep valleys. Military barracks can also be seen. In the context of the CBMs, uh, confidence building measures we have, it indicates to a certain postponement of a war, but it doesn't mean uh, any preparation cannot take place um, in purely military terms. The Aksai Chin model is located more than 2,000 kilometers east in Ningxia province. Experts say it probably forms part of the Lanzhou military region, which is tasked with the defense of Aksai Chin. Over the years, China has laid an extensive network of tunnels in Aksai Chin for its military. New airfields have come up. A barrage on the Indus to supply water to the military garrison. A 250 megawatt nuclear power plant. And further north, a photo imagery center in Kashgar. Underground defense networks are basically for uh, electronic uh, monitoring, uh, reconnaissance and uh, surveillance and, and of course the logistics uh, aspects. Uh, what it signifies is uh, border domination efforts by China in this region. Experts here at the Defense Studies Institute say the Aksai Chen model is not the only one of its kind. There are similar models for Taiwan and also one in Yunnan which is replicated for India. The model in Yunnan province duplicates Assam and Arunachal Pradesh. A road is also being laid from Lhasa which runs all along the line of actual control. It would make it convenient for the rapid response force located in Yunnan to mobilize for any operation against India. Experts say that scale models and simulations are all crucial to military training programs. But the scale of China's operations suggests that in the era of confidence building, there is something lacking in the India-China relationship. Surya Gangadharan, CNN IBN. China has never failed to assert its claim to Arunachal Pradesh. On Friday, it did so again by denying a visa to a senior IS officer from the state. Native Arunachalese have been left fuming. I'm shocked that government of India is not reacting to the whole issue. China's action forced the Indian government to cancel the first ever visit by 106 other IS officers to China as part of their mid-career training program. But Arunachal's representatives in Delhi say there is a larger issue here. They accuse the center of not wanting to hold China to account for actions that could damage bilateral relations. They say Delhi's silence will encourage China to believe it can get away with anything, as it has been doing for some time. Chinese have slowly marched inside. In our position, uh, the whole of uh, what you call uh, the state, Arunacha state, is Chinese territory. And that one is one, only a one place in it. Yeah. And we are claiming all of that. That's our position. Counterfeiting of currency helps terror financing. In any case, counterfeiting of currency by itself is a big menace and has to be countered because it can destabilize the country. 33 lakh rupees in 5,000 and 1,000 rupee denominations. Concealed in dreams and dreams of thread reels. The police raid at Nizamuddin railway station nabbed three suspected agents of Pakistan Inter Service Intelligence or the ISI, carrying the counterfeit Indian currency. Fake currency is coming from Pakistan and it's a very, very fine quality of printing. Counter terrorism experts like AK Dawal say that the ISI used conduits to carry counterfeit currency from amongst thousands of people infiltrating to India from its porous borders infiltration through the land route, through the illegal route. If they bring weapons with them, so if can, they can bring the automatic weapons, they can bring the explosives, they can also bring the, they do bring the vat of notes with them, both, both counterfeit and the genuine. CNN IBN Cobra Post special investigation tracked down counterfeit currency dealers who revealed the circuitous route through which fake Indian currency is pumped into the country. Pradeep, who has been on the fake currency trail quite often, made this revelation. Pradeep then talks about the origin of fake Indian currency, a piece of information that has consistently been confirmed by Indian law enforcement agencies. Plan. Counterfeit notes are printed in Pakistan by the ISI. 
transported to Nepal and then smuggled into India through its porous borders. And this has serious implications. People start losing faith in the currency of their own country. Probably it becomes, a, a, you know, a, the confidence in the state itself gets shaken. That is, that is one thing. Secondly, this money can go for events which can be much worse, or not much worse, but which can be equally bad as terrorism is. It can be used for, for all sorts of illegal activities. Not intending to buy a counterfeit currency, at this point we closed the investigation. But these dupe currency traders were willing to pump in bogus money into the Indian economy. Evidence available with intelligence agencies in India, US and UK suggests that terrorist groups have invested heavily in legitimate businesses, real estate and even in the stock market. So world over the effort is to choke the flow of terror funds. But it's easier said than done.